They say you don't really understand something if you can't explain it to a five-year-old. Sometimes it's good to explain things to adults that way, too. I'm Chris, and this is what had to be said. If I were talking to a five-year-old, I would say communism is sharing. Maybe not sharing everything, like you have your own toothbrush and your own bike. But imagine you had this big swimming pool. Is it just for you? Why? Why not let everyone in? Then you only need one pool, and everyone in the neighborhood can be happy with it. Or imagine you had all the food, way more than you could eat, and other people around you are hungry. What would you do? Should be an easy answer for a child. Anarchism is not letting people make other people do things they don't want to do. All throughout your life, there will be people telling you how to think and what to do, and especially what you're not allowed to do. Have you noticed people doing that already? Anarchism is about making it so no one can force you or bully you just because they want to. Anarchy doesn't mean there are no rules. It means the whole class gets to decide what the rules are and enforces them as equals. Egoism is similar. Egoism means you are the best person to decide what's right for you, not other people and their ideas. You do what you think is right, and don't let people tell you what you have to do. Egoists still work together. Have you ever made up a game with your friends? But what if, for any reason, you don't want to play anymore? You stop. You make the choice. I like all three of these ideas, so I put them together. I think we should have strong communities where people who are interested work together to make their own decisions and take care of each other. See how you can learn from all these different ideas? I don't like authority like teachers and police who are teachers for grown-ups. I don't like bullies, so I don't like police, soldiers, or proud boys, and I think it's good to band together to stop them. I don't like people who take from poor people, so I don't like tax collectors and landlords and bosses and business owners. I don't like groups I'm forced to belong to, so I don't like nationalism and racism. I think we should be sharing everything and thinking for ourselves and not letting Bullies take everything and tell us what to do. So we'll work together, right? We'll talk about what's wrong and why, and then fix it. Let's imagine what the world should be like and how it could get there. Really, of course, I'm not doing justice to these ideas, which are obviously full-fledged philosophies that you should read up on. I just like to boil them down to the basics so people realize, first, they might actually want to learn more, and second, why these things have been kept hidden from them so long. I provide titles and links on, on other videos on this channel, but if you comment on this one, I'll provide some more. I think one reason these ideas are so complicated is because adults, especially quote-unquote educated people, have this thing with, where they won't accept anything that isn't complicated. If you just say, we as a society should share more, they'll laugh and say, that's for kids. <laughs> because life currently isn't like that. If you say, we should govern ourselves, rather than give all our power to the state to govern us, they'll say you're utopian. Haven't you read Hobbes? If you have aspirations beyond getting a well-paid job and trying to hide inside your house from the world as it burns outside, they'll say, stop daydreaming and get back to work. It's possible they would change their minds after reading, say, the complete works of Emma Goldman, but really they wouldn't pick it up in the first place. As adults, we've already got our worldview and our prejudices set 
until we're ready to see beyond them. A five-year-old has been far less exposed to indoctrination, mislabeled education, and corporate PR in the form of news. I expect there are people who will argue, a child is no judge of the world because it's too young. If you really think an adult's understanding of the world is necessarily more based on truth and logic and reality unfiltered by ideology than that of a child's, I refer you to thousands of years of gods, governments, wars, QAnon, and other harmful ideas. It's just it takes much longer to explain these things to adults. Fortunately, I've made dozens of other videos on these topics that you can check out. I don't think any of these ideas would seem strange to a child. The problem with adults is our heads get filled with ideas about how the world is, uh, how, how it was or how it should be, that mystify and overcomplicate things. But values and principles can be quite simple, and we don't need to read theory to discover them. So instead of trotting out charts and figures, philosophies and doctrines explaining why it can't work, why not just share? Instead of using the excuses we've learned over the years, like utopian, human nature, etc., why not just let people be free? Instead of valuing all the old ideas we've been brought up on, like country, tradition, and hard work, why not choose your own values and live your own way? Well, you're going to do that. It's all up to you. I'll be here for you either way.